We didn't want it to feel like a British sitcom. We wanted mm -hmm. it to feel um, different. And um, and so we so that that's 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 hard. That's hard to find. And Layla absolutely nailed that. And um, we got very excited because we were very tired at that point. <laughs> yeah, it was like it was like one of those moments where you're like, maybe there's something wrong with the character. No, no, Lucy, no, 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 I should play. No. Maybe I should... <laughs> Shut up! That is no, 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 no. Maybe I said that once, and then that was completely rejected. And then Lucy, Layla no offense, in. babe, but no. I don't want to direct you. <laughs> yeah, no, quite right. And Layla came in, and it was like Christmas a little bit. It was like, oh, oh thank God, it was such a good someone day. can be, I someone think... can do that and that and that, and it, and and yeah. Sometimes that happens. Sometimes it happens really early. Sometimes it happens really, really late. And you just sort of go, oh, thank God, you know, because we don't have to reconceive the entire show. When Layla came in and did Naomi, it was very brilliant because I have to be honest and say that there are elements of Naomi that have probably come a little bit from myself, a tiny bit. Like there's an over cerebralness sometimes, a kind of like over reliance on the on the theoretical a need to control if you can imagine such a thing and um and i and i think that must have been you know Lay layla's very smart i must have realized that fairly early on and i wonder what what that was like <laughs> oh Oh, Layla, Sorry. she's not. She, I thought. I thought she's, she's not, not, not answering. I'm off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's how I felt. Um, <laughs> and yes, she's 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 um, fiercely bright, like Lucy, and um, unflappable, and in charge, and but also vulnerable and human, and makes mistakes. So <clears throat> it was it was a challenge, and and hopefully quite a recognisable um, person to. To, to see on screen and a foil to Susie in a way. How did you come to be involved in the project? How did you first come, you know, come to hear of it and, and get involved? Well, I, I sent in um, a terrible tape uh, first time around uh, as an audition and I was told that it was not no good. So I sent in another tape and because um, I thought when I read Naomi, I was like, no, I know her. I know her. I know her. I can do her. Um, because um, as much as terrorist wife and all that sort of great stuff that I'd also been put up for was um, in my in my world, this was very exciting. And then um, eventually I met Billy, and then I met Lucy, and um, I guess something clicked, and I was sort of a real pinch myself, pinch yourself moment um, of going, oh my god, oh my god, I can't believe it, because it was brave and mad and makes you question stuff and it's just such a delight to be in it. I think that was the hardest um, part to cast. I think um, Georgie, Lucy, we were, we were in all of those casts and we were going round the houses with it. it it's a really, it's, it's hard. It's a hard part and it's, and it's hard to do again authentically sometimes because um, you know, um, it's, I don't know, I, 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 basically we met Layla at the, what felt like a, a weeks and weeks of looking and, um, she came in and she had, she had all the cerebral wit and, and smarts and drive, but she has this really, she has this dry sense of humor, which felt. Yeah. It was, the, so it was so much yeah. what we wanted because yeah. there is, Lucy and I are very, you know, also kept our eye on the fact that there is a version of this script and it's not a, um, it's not to do Lucy's writing other at all, but there is a version of this script where, where these cat, where people would come in, let's say, and play these characters very broadly. And so it would feel like we were in a sitcom and as much as we love our sitcoms, we didn't want it to feel like that we didn't want it to feel like a British sitcom we wanted it to feel um different and um and so we so that that's 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 hard that's hard to find and Layla absolutely nailed that and um we got very excited because we were very tired at that point <laughs> Yeah, it was like it was like one of those moments where you're like, maybe there's something wrong with the character. No, 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 I should play. Maybe no. I should. <laughs> Shut up. That is no, 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 no. Maybe I said that once. 
And then that was completely rejected. And then Lucy, Layla no offence, babe, but no. I don't want to direct you. Yeah, no, quite right. <laughs> and Layla came in and it was like Christmas a little bit. It was like, oh, oh thank God. It was such a good someone day. Someone can be, I someone think... can do that and that and that. And, it, and, and yeah, sometimes that happens. Sometimes it happens really early. Sometimes it happens really, really late. And you just sort of go, oh, thank God, you know, because we don't have to reconceive the entire show. Yeah, yeah. And I think to add to that, it's like we, with all of the cast, because we had, we've got a big cast, it's like, it was a long process, but when, yeah. the, like, when Dan arrived, like Lucy said, when Layla arrived, it was just like, yes, these brilliant, brilliant actors who can like step up, but the, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna make something and it's gonna be very special. So it was kind of, it was worth all the pain of the waiting. I mean, and we saw loads of brilliant actors. It was just, there was something very magical about these two yeah. alongside, you know, alongside Billy. Um, Rebecca Clark says, what do you hope the audience take away from the show? <sighs> Tumbleweed. Um, maybe a sense of um, relief, although I don't know. <laughs> yeah, maybe some relief that, I don't know. I, I feel like it would be nice if people walked away and went, I get, I, I get that. It's not my life entirely, moment to moment. But I get that, and um, and and that feels good, and also has a laugh, and also has a real um, that it's an experience for them because we we wanted it to feel like that. We wanted it to feel immersive, and Georgie does that so well. Certainly in the first two episodes, it's like you know, it, it, you're 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 sort of feeling all the fabric, and I think that's. Um, I hope people experience that too um and then faye watson says is the series a contained story or would you like to continue to explore it in a second series well we shall have to see i mean it oh, depends you, if, you know well i you know i yeah i'd have to you know i'd have to come up with something <laughs> and uh, and they'd have to want it and people have to want it so you know we'll we'll yeah we'll see but um uh, yeah, it's, it's been a lot of fun, this one. <laughs> um, and then we've got this, just quickly, this one, this is really just a quick um, pick up from an anonymous attendee on the uh, improv. Um, uh, Leila, Daniel and Billy, uh, how do you approach improv? Do you get much rehearsal time and do you like it? Uh, Go on, Leila. Go on, oh, um, well, um, Georgie and I and Dan, we had some improv sort of sessions before we started filming where we got to do character work, which I found invaluable and brilliant. And that was so that was before filming. And then there were little trigger words that she would just say to me and it would get me back into the brain of Naomi, which I found brilliant and incredibly helpful. So that's one of the examples of improv that we had. Yeah, I don't think there wasn't, we didn't do a huge amount of improvising on, on set really. Like it's, the script is so tight, it's so tightly worded and tight plotted. There wasn't a huge amount of room for that. But I, I guess um, in my head, there were maybe like two or three of the really emotional scenes um, between Cobb and Susie. I remember like a few where it was just useful to not have to worry if, um, if you're really going to a dark place and something weird comes out, there's like a few that spring to mind. And, and um, you know, but it wasn't like improv so much as just like a, just a weird little moment or something that may not have been scripted, but it's, yeah. it's, it's all, to be honest, I mean, I love improvising, um, but there wasn't, uh, for me, there wasn't really improvising. On this. It's all just like, it's all in the, it's all in the writing, man. <laughs> um, listen, we've run out of time um, and I just wanted to give the final um, question, well it's not even a question, but Tommy Jessup who says, let's all keep dancing, which I really like the sentiment of, perfect. That's um, yeah. Um, thank you so much to you all for taking the time to, um, to, to join us tonight. It's been so lovely to kind of just pick your brains about, you know, this series, which I think is fantastic. Um, uh, it's going to be available on Sky Atlantic and now TV on the 27th of August, the Sky Original, I Hate Susie. Thank you so much to our wonderful Thank uh, cast. Thank you. Thank you, Thank guys. You. Thanks, everyone. Thank, Thank you so much. Stay safe, guys. Thank, Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs>